Hi, I'm Amira Alvarez, founder and CEO of The Unstoppable Woman, where we help you quantum leap your life and your business by particularly helping you quantum leap your income. And you cannot do that by doing everything yourself. So you need to bring on team. So that's the subject of our, our series, Catch All the Videos. This is the last one in the series. And I wanna talk about hiring and firing, okay? So there's an adage that says, hire slowly, fire quickly. I actually think that you can hire quickly and fire quickly. Now, you will make mistakes with hiring people. It just happens, okay? You can do all the due diligence, but it's really hard to filter for things like drive and ambition and judgment in the um, interview process. Even when you give them tests like the Colby test or, or various different uh, strength tests that you can see what people's you know, strengths are, and how they would work with you. It's still hard to get these little nuances. So sometimes you have to let people go. It's not the, the most fun thing for you or for them, but there's a way to do this with a lot of integrity. And I suggest that you get really clear about what you appreciate in that person, be able to communicate that and do the firing it, be able to communicate that when you let them go and do the, the firing as quickly as you can. Do not keep someone on for a month, two months, three months, four months, two years that is not the right fit for you, okay? Really, assess someone as quickly as you can and let them go. Now, there's some nuance to this because of course you need to give people a chance to learn your systems, understand how your business works, um, come up to speed. But generally speaking, if, if you're not someone who is blaming other people and not trusting, so you've gotten past those initial hiccups around team, then you will, you will sense pretty darn immediately whether someone's got good judgment, good initiative, um, the character traits and skill sets that you need in your business and you can very quickly let someone go. Now, how quickly you do that is up to you, and um, I'm all for closing the gap on that, and the more experience you have with understanding what is a yes or a no to you and assessing that, so you, you, ha you hire someone, you're constantly in communication with them, they're working for you, and you're getting hits, that feels good, that doesn't feel good, That's a, that, that was an odd thing that they said, or that didn't make sense, or I'm not seeing this. Okay, so you're getting all these hits and you're assessing, that was good judgment, that wasn't good judgment, I liked that, that was a great thing, that wasn't a good thing, right? You're, you're, you're constantly getting all this information back and you can, at that point, make a really quick decision. You do not have to overthink this. It's really important that you recognize if someone's not working out that they're not a bad human being, they're just not the right fit for you and your business right now. And so you want to start recognizing internally all those hits that you're getting, trusting them and making a decision quickly to let that person go. Okay, now as you do this, more and more often you will have a history with yourself of knowing what um, is a sign that someone is a good fit and someone is not a good fit and you will start trusting yourself sooner and sooner and you won't have to wait as long and have as much experience with someone so as you go through hiring over time you might wait a certain amount of time the first time before making a decision to let someone go but then you're going to want to close the gap on that and really very quickly probably in a couple days you can probably figure out if someone's good or is going to work out or not going to work out so um, that doesn't mean that you don't have a longer probationary period you want your legal documents set up your employee employment documents set up so that you have a, a nice long probationary period but you'll probably know sooner than later and trust your gut okay and trust the other people on your team ask very um, pointed questions of them without um, diminishing the, the the new person on the team <coughs> excuse me and get the feedback okay so the question for you is do you know right now 
what a good, I need a sip of water. Give me one second here. The question for you right now is, do you know how to trust your gut? Do you know what is a sign of on track and a sign of off track? Start paying attention to those things. And in the comments below, give me an example from the past. Just do a little quick analysis of where you could feel something being on track and feeling something being off track. And that will help you go forward as well if you get super clear about what that feeling is. Okay. Thanks for listening. If you love these videos and this whole video series, give us a like, share the video, tell your friends about us. We would love to have you all in our community and uh, we're growing the Unstoppable Woman. So thanks for listening and have an awesome day and rock it out. Be unstoppable. Bye.